Okay, my name is uh, Tommy Thompson. I'm the Deputy Director General at the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism. I'm based in our London office, and I cover all markets except the United States. So uh, for me, our uh, big markets are Canada, uh, Europe, and Asia. Uh, I guess our best story at the moment is Canada. Uh, we've got a new flight beginning in March from uh, Toronto into Georgetown and Zuma, where the new, force, uh, the new uh, Sandals Emerald Bay is opening. Uh, they're opening uh, this month, and the flight from Canada will begin in March. Uh, we're really much looking forward to that. Uh, in addition, out of uh, Toronto, we've got a new flight that just began in November from Toronto into Grand Bahama Island. And we've got seasonal service from Calgary into Nassau with WestJet, and then daily service from Toronto to Nassau with both uh, WestJet and Air Canada. Uh, my second market it would be the UK, and we've got a very exciting uh, con uh, promotion going on there called the 14 Islands Film Challenge. And what we're doing is uh, kind of piggybacking onto what Australia did with their Queensland promotion, the best job in the world. We've got 14 of the second best jobs in the world. So what we're doing is getting uh, 14 aspiring filmmakers to go to the Bahamas to do a short five-minute film on 14 of the islands. And there's a grand prize of 14,000 pounds for the winner of that competition. And the films will be hosted on our website. And we're going to have a red carpet event at BAFTA. And that's the British, British equivalent of the Oscars uh -huh. on the 15th of March. So that's going to be a very exciting initiative. And we're very proud that Canon UK has agreed to be a sponsor with us. So Canon's providing all the photographic kit that the filmmakers will be using. And then we're in discussions with them for various consumer promotions to follow on at that. One of the things they said to us is that they'd like to use the winner of the competition as a, a Canon ambassador. So, you know, there's some really good possibilities there. Uh, we've also got a new flight that just started in November out of Germany, which is the Condor flight into Nassau. And it's the first time in about 20 years Condor has been in the Bahamas, so we're very, very excited about that. So you guys are, are creating a lot of these partnerships and new flights and even the film program to encourage people to come spend their travel dollars in the Bahamas. Indeed. What makes the Bahamas so unique? Uh, well, first of all, we're not one island. We're a collection of islands. And each island is completely different from the other. So Exuma is different from Abaco, which is different from Inagua. And we want to encourage people to start a collection of islands, start you know, putting, getting a passport together with so many islands that they've visited in the Bahamas. And there's just so many wonderful uh, nature activities that you can do. Fishing is great. You can do bone fishing, deep sea fishing. Diving is spectacular. We've got some of the clearest waters in the world. Sailing, you're going in some of the most beautiful waters in the world. Some of the blues in the Bahamas are absolutely amazing. There's no place in the world as beautiful as the Bahamas. And we're also very close to get to, easy to get to from Florida, we're, uh, 55 minutes away. And we've also got a, a program going on in the United States that's just uh, begun. Uh, where the companion flies free. So out of Florida, you get a $200 air credit uh, coming from the, uh, the East Coast, $300, and from Los Angeles, the West Coast, $400. So we've got some very exciting initiatives to encourage people to come and visit the islands of the Bahamas. 2009 was a difficult year for the it tourism was. industry. Mm -hmm. So you've added in these new programs and incentives to keep people coming and spending their travel dollars with you. Is there um, a Bahamian message or something that kind of speaks to the mission of the island or the spirit of the islands? It's better in the Bahamas. There you go. It's better in the Bahamas. And um, as we found out, there's many programs going on. They should check out where for the films. For the films, you go to the bahamas.co.uk website or the 14 Islands Film Challenge.co.uk website and register as an armchair critic where you can go and vote on your film, the one that you like the most. And that film, the winner, uh, the filmmaker will get the, uh, the Viewer's Choice Award and along with other prizes that are going to be given out on the 15th of March at BAFTA in London, our red carpet event that we're really looking forward to. And the filmmakers are actually going out to the Bahamas on the 26th of January 
for the 14 day challenge. So it's 14 days, 14 islands, 14 filmmakers. And it'll show the really unique differences between all of the Bahamian islands. Yeah, and one of the things that we want to emphasize is this is not a travel documentary on each of the islands. Filmmakers have really a blank slate where they're able to create their own film. No sex, no violence, no rock and roll. I'm going to put that in there. But uh, they use the Bahamas as the playground, the backdrop, inspiration. the inspiration. And, you know, we, we're going to make sure that they portray the Bahamas in a positive light, but it's not going to be a travel log. So we just think that it's going to work very much like how Pirates of the Caribbean has worked for the Bahamas. And we think it's going to be really exciting. Very exciting. Well, thank you for sharing with us today, and we'll make it down to the Bahamas. Well, thank you, and you have an open invitation. Come awesome. join us. Perfect. Thank okay. you very much.